Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. Mid-Michigan is gearing up for the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational. But first, competitors have to complete the qualifier. Joining us this morning is the host of that event herself, Suzanne Peterson. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm great. I'm on my way from uh, Toronto down to Franklin Lewis to see all the great participants trying to battle it out for the one spot for the GLBI. Oh, that's so exciting. So tell us, Suzanne, how did you get involved with this event? Well, I've had a, a partnership with uh, Dow for, I don't know, it runs now, since 2008. So, uh, it was always a dream of ours to kind of create an LPGA event, kind of a un more unique event uh, that kind of stands out on the schedule. And uh, 2019 was the inaugural uh, um, first year of uh, the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational, which is a team match play. Uh, you qualify and you can kind of pick your partner. And it's a match play um, or, uh, team format uh, event. And... Uh, what I find is great is all the players really enjoy coming there because it's yeah. the format is different. Uh, you team up with um, most likely your good buddies, uh, competitors, and friends, and it's just a very good week. So I'm excited for this qualifier to potentially give whoever wins the dream week or to kind of live the life as a pro for a week, and uh, they get treated in fantastic by the entire. Dow family and uh, they get to play a great course and uh, get to compete against the best players and female golfers in the world. So I think this is a unique uh, platform to kind of create a bus. I'm excited to see some of them uh, over the next couple of days. That is, it sounds fascinating. So Suzanne, the winner of the qualifier will receive an exemption for themselves and an amateur playing partner of their choosing for this year's Invitational. Can you give us just a little bit of the rundown of the format and the schedule for the week. So it's the uh, four-day event. Uh, starts on Thursday, finishes on Sunday. It's a stroke play, so uh, you alternate between a uh, best ball and a foursome uh, uh, format. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I mean you get to play alongside, uh, up close with uh, potentially the absolutely, absolutely best players in the world. Uh, uh, I played in 2019, and I teamed up with my fellow friend from Scotland, Catriona Matthew, and we had a blast. And uh, the, the word on the street is this is a very, very popular event among the players. So this should be a bucket list uh, kind of challenge for yeah. anyone to kind of try and be a part of. And I love it. The players always say they love that part of it. You know, what are you most looking for, Suzanne, Suzanne as you watch these players tee it up at the Fortress in Frankenmuth. What are you looking forward to? I just love seeing young talent uh, play it out and compete. And obviously, there's only one spot. I mean, the winning prize is as big as it gets, and you get to pick possibly your best friend if she can play a good golf. This is going to be a team victory if the potential one manages to qualify and get the spot. Yeah, and next year, I hear that you will lead Team Europe at the Solheim Cup with the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational approaching, what advice would you give players as they prepare for a team event? You know, the players, they're so well, they're so professional. Yeah. Uh, they know what they're doing and uh, they know how to prepare. Uh, I'm just gonna try and facilitate uh, to have the best team surroundings uh, it could possibly be for the players to feel as comfortable and uh, be able to perform their best. Uh, I'm gonna say it like this, uh, these girls know how to play, so I'm just going to trust that they go out there and um, uh, do the best I can. That's right. Do their thing. I love it. So as Dow Sustainability Ambassador, you have had the chance to attend previous invitationals. And from what we've seen, there really is truly something for everyone, all ages. But what do you think makes this invitational so special? Well, I think from a sustainability aspect, the Great Lakes Bay Invitational, uh, they were the first um, geo-certified um, golf tournament on the female side, on the LPGA. Uh, they lead by, as a great role model uh, for everyone uh, behind to kind of take, um, uh, take a stand in the, in the world for a more sustainable uh, future. Uh, 
and I mean, if you go to Midland, uh, Michigan during the actual event, you'll see so many great um, initiatives from the tournament uh, in all aspects, uh, anything from food, uh, waste management, uh, transportation. Uh, I was actually blown away when actually last time I was there in 2021, last year, when I actually went behind the scenes, uh, how they uh, manages all the food that's left over, how it's all kind of uh, divided into different uh, segments. I mean, it takes so much effort, but it starts by Dao wanting to be uh, a good leader in this area. And I think that's uh, all you can ask him. Um, as important as uh, the golf is, I think the sustainability part is as important. So I think we uh, check off a lot of the great things uh, uh, within the, the golfing world. And I think uh, for a golf event to kind of showcase that to take sustainability seriously, I think it's a great platform because you have uh, it's such a unique platform to communicate uh, uh, important uh, initiatives and uh, you have an audience that's bigger than uh, most local uh, platforms. So uh, making the most of a, a platform like this, I think DAO uh, in the entire Great Lakes Bay invitation on the region makes a fantastic effort. Um, so uh, I'm glad to see this continuing and uh, progressing every time, every year. Yeah, it's so exciting. That's in our backyard. Thank you so much. Everyone's excited now. Thank you for joining us this morning with this information. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me this morning. Of course. We're so delighted that you're here. You can find more information in the hot link section of WNEM.com.